Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today in Sunday School. Now our lesson today comes from the last book of the Bible called Revelation. And the title of our story today is Jesus Opens the Book. Now Jesus' friend John had a dream. Now in his dream, John saw a great throne in heaven. God sat on a throne with a bright rainbow all around him. And some of God's people stood with mighty angels around the throne. And they all say, our mighty God is king. God made everything. In God's right hand, he held an old book. Now God's book tells everything about the world what happened in the past, and what will happen in the future. Now God wrote all these things down in the book. Then he closed the book and sealed it shut with seven seals. If you can count with me, he sealed it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now each of these seals have their own special meaning, which we won't cover in this lesson, but you can talk and ask your parents about it. Now, one of the angels asked, who is good enough to break these seals? They are very strong. And the angels looked around, but no one was good enough. Now John became sad and he began to cry because he wanted to read the book. He wanted to know what God had written. Then someone said, don't cry. Jesus can open the book because he is good enough. Then Jesus did come and break the seal. He opened God's book and started to read the story to John. Now, in the book, it says that God's enemy, if you remember that old snake Satan from the first book of the Bible, will come like a dragon. And he will try to hurt God's people. There will be terrible days. There will be wars and earthquakes. And Satan will hurt God's people, but he will not be able to destroy them. Now, on the last day, with God's promise, Jesus will come back. Jesus will come like a hero riding on a white horse, and he will defeat Satan. Then Jesus will live with his people forever, and God keeps all his promises. Now the question we ask is, will God's people finally be rescued? The answer is yes. When Jesus comes back, he will fix our broken world and there will be no more sin or sickness. There will be no more crying or pain. So come back, Jesus, and come back quickly. Well, that's the end of our lesson. So before we head to our craft, let's uh, clasp our hands and close our eyes and pray. Thank you, God, for this lesson. We thank you for coming to John's dream and revealing your truth and your plans for your people. We thank you, God, for sending your son to save the world and to save our lives for all those who trust in you. Please help us, God, to learn more about you, to love you, and to trust you more. Um, we pray all of this in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. So for our craft today, we will be making the very old book with seven seals that God wrote that only Jesus is good enough to break the seals. So for that, we will need a few things. We will need seven strips of ribbon or paper colored paper different colors for our book and our seals 
some coloring mediums such as crayons and markers or color pencils. And you'll need some scissors, a pair of scissors, and tape, and or glue. To start, we will work on our seven seals. So pick one of your colored paper and draw seven seals, kind of like wax seals if you've seen them. But I'd like to describe them as squiggly circles. But you can draw whatever shape you want, but make sure you draw seven. Five. They should look something like this. Once you've done that, you're going to cut each of your seals. Now if you need some help with the scissors, do get someone older to help you. Otherwise, just take your time and cut each of your seals. I'm just going to cut two to show you what they look like. And they will look something like this. They're going to look something like this. And you should have seven of these. Once you have seven seals, four, five, six, seven. Once you have your seven seals, we will then assemble our seals to our ribbon or strip of strips of paper. All you need is your tape or glue. I'm using tape today because that's all I have. Just take one of your seals and tape them to the edge of your strip of paper or ribbon. And we will do that to all seven strips. And you don't need much tape. To stick them together. One more. All right. Once you've done that, you can set those aside. Now we will focus on the book. So, with your other colored paper, I want you to take that and fold it in half. Should look like a book. Once you've done that, we're going to write in our book something to remind us of God's promise. We're going to write this Jesus will come back. I'm going to put this there so you can see it, but I will write mine. 
orange. Once you've done writing in your book, you can continue decorating your book on the inside and drawing as much as you want to remind you of the lessons that we've learned from today. So I'm going to leave this here for a little bit for you while you do that. Once you've done coloring and drawing in your book, it's time to close and seal our book with our seven seals. So to do that, you take one of your seals. I'm going to flip it down a little bit. And take your tape just a little bit, just enough. And join the two ends of the ribbons together. Seal it with tape like this. And we're going to do that for the other six seals. So, again, make sure it's wrapped around the book tight. and seal it with your tape or glue. I'm using tape here. Once you are done sealing your book, it should look something like this. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I will see you in class next time. Bye!